Mushoku Tensei season 2 episode 16 is finally here and this time with some very juicy family drama. Along with the return of Richard and a mention of Eris after what feels like an eternity. And while this episode wasn't as good as the previous two, it is still a very solid episode that serves its purpose as a character reintroduction and a setup episode. I know some people are gonna call it a boring episode, but there is still some really good writing and relationship dynamics that I really love. So without wasting any more time, let's talk about it. The episode straight up starts with Rudy and Richard talking with each other. It's probably gonna be so confusing for people who missed the post credit scene in the previous episode to see Richard just appear out of nowhere. I know some people thought I missed the post credits because I didn't mention it in my video of the previous episode but rest assured guys, I did not miss it. My dumbass just forgot to talk about it in the video. But yeah, Richard is finally back even though it was for a very short time. It was nice to see Rudy being so happy to see Richard after such a long ass time. Though one name he definitely wasn't happy to hear about was Eris. The music completely stops as soon as Richard mentions Eris. We finally get to see what Rudy currently thinks about Eris, especially after he reunited with Sylphie and straight up got married with her. Rijer talks about how there might have been miscommunication between them and he believes that Eris doesn't hate him. And even though we know that Rijer is right and the reason is indeed miscommunication, Rudy himself does not believe it. And it's not like you can blame him for it either. As Rijer said, Eris certainly wasn't the best at communication and the reason she left him was because she loves him and wants to be strong enough to protect him. And Rudy says that even if there was a miscommunication, Eris is still the reason he suffered for 3 years and Sylphie was the one who ended up curing him. I actually really like the fact that he somewhat blames Eris and wants to forget about her. Instead of blaming himself in the first part, he's built up some self-esteem after reuniting with Sylphie and building some new relationships. Even though it isn't fair for Eris, it feels like a very natural progression and makes me really excited to see how the relationship is gonna get handled in the future. I also really like to see just how sad Rudy got after Richard said that he's leaving the next day and just how happy he became when he said that they will meet again. You can see just how much Rudy respects Richard and it is so wholesome to watch. Another interesting moment was Richard meeting with Bardi Gadi in front of Rudy's house. First up, what the hell was Pro even doing in front of his house? And second, was Richard not looking happy to find him there? I seriously thought they were about to throw hands or something. After that, we have a nice moment with everyone having breakfast together before Richard finally leaves. And now we move on to the proper introduction of Aisha and Norn back into the story. First up, I don't know why, but I was expecting Norn to be a genius or something. So imagine my surprise when it's revealed that she can't even pass the entrance exam while Aisha gets a perfect score. And another moment I really loved was Norn talking about how much she hates Rudy because he punched Paul and how he is with a different woman. Norn saying that she can't trust Rudy felt like such a realistic reaction to everything she's seen from him and I was not expecting something like this, especially in an isekai anime. Even though it's a fantasy world and there are some really unrealistic things and situations, all the characters act and feel so realistic and grounded. It's one of the things I can't give the author enough credit for. I also really like to see Rudy asking Sylvia about what to do with Aisha because she wants to be a maid instead of going to school. Especially because he says that they have responsibility as the adults around them. And by far, my favorite moment of the episode was Aisha getting mad because she felt like Rudy was giving special treatment to Norn and being self-conscious about her being only a half-sibling to Rudy. It was honestly pretty hard to watch and I feel really bad about her. Also, I don't think we've seen Norn's grandmother but what the hell, why would she tell that to Aisha and the scene with Lilia? It's honestly a really sad situation all around. But it's also nice to see Rudy caring for both of his sisters equally. Aisha washing Rudy. Man, 
this scene sure isn't gonna cause any controversy, especially on Twitter, right? But yeah, we had some pretty sus but honestly cute moments with Aisha as well as Norn as she's preparing to go live in dorms. The whole mystery bag scene with Linia and Persina was pretty funny as well, especially Sylphie and Luke's reactions to it. But it's also a moment that really shows just how much Rudy has changed. If it was the younger Rudy, he would have just given his creepy smile after realizing what's in the bag. But here, he's actually anxious and wondering how Sylphie is gonna feel about this. And the episode ends with Norn seemingly skipping classes and staying locked inside her room. She is slowly becoming like the previous version of Rudeus by shutting herself off and she isn't even trying to make friends. And considering the fact that she didn't even know where her class was, it makes me wonder if she's ever even gone to a single class yet. I am completely invested in seeing how Rudy handles his sister, slowly going down the same path as his former self. And that's pretty much all I have to say for this week's episode of Mushoku Tensei. Even though it was a setup episode, it still had some really great moments and the characters are just phenomenal as always. It's the one thing you can always rely on Mushoku for. With all that being said though, leave a like on the video if you enjoyed it and consider subscribing to the channel for more Mushoku Tensei and just anime content in general.